Hello, my name is Greg Mears and I'm the publisher of callcentercafe.com and I'm going to embark on a video series of how to improve call center representative performance, um, call center agent performance, goal attainment, um, the different solutions that are available that, that are best practices that have a positive effect on performance. So if you're a vice president, director, manager, supervisor, and you're responsible for uh, goal attainment, uh, performance metrics uh, within your team or within your call center, uh, this video series is going to be uh, something that you'll, you'll want to watch. Um, I put together a mind map of uh, some information regarding the, the components that make up a, a successful call center. And basically there's three main components, and of course there's some subcategories there, but uh, the first one is technology, the second one is people, and the third one is processes. And uh, specifically, I want to I want to talk about uh, people and processes and how they relate to performance. And they do have a direct line to performance. Uh, specifically, there's really either your performance can go north or your performance can go south. You either have poor performance, um, middle of the road performance, or high performance. But let's let's look at both the two extremes of the spectrum poor performance and high performance and uh, let's talk about the, uh, the the components there with poor performance um, and then we'll talk about some solutions to address those but but poor performance what are general characteristics of poor performance let's take a look at that first is lack of employee engagement uh, you have attendance problems you have scheduled adherence issues you have missed goals or missed opportunities, and you have goals that seem unattainable. Those are all indicative of poor performance, but there's some solutions. And at, at one point in time, we've all had um, to deal with some of these issues. Uh, hopefully, you're not in a position where you're dealing with them constantly. Um, but there's, there's a key component here. If you could focus and address a lot of energy of... Uh, regarding employee engagement that's half your battle um, a lot of folks don't understand that and hopefully you're not in a situation where you're part of the problem I'm assuming you're not um, but if you can figure out ways to which I'll share by the way through this video series of how to improve employee engagement and ultimately get to the point where you are actually in the high performance and some of the solutions that we we see there um, and these are these are best practices these are characteristics of high performing teams or high performing call centers but uh, always have an effective uh, frontline leadership skills um, always have uh, motivational techniques always have a, a performance management process that helps uh, identify and improve uh, performance issues early on uh, always have employee inclu inclusion and collaboration efforts, meaning a lot of your employees feel like they're a number. And if you could solicit their uh, their feedback and solicit their ideas, uh, overall you're going to have more buy-in and greater buy-in. Obviously, it's easier to achieve your goals. Create a, a closed-loop feedback process. Uh, focus on goal setting and uh, their results organizations. Um, one of the... Uh, favorite goals goal setting systems I like is called smart goals uh, but as we progress through these video series uh, I'll discuss that in great detail uh, what that's all about and then recognition which is really rewarding consequences maybe this should be should have been called accountability um, accountability has a, a negative connotation to it a lot of folks believe when you talk about accountability oh you know that means you're gonna hold me accountable and fire me well, you know, accountability, if it's applied consistently, is not a bad thing. In fact, people will um, respect that and um, tailor their behaviors around that. Uh, within an organization, if all members, no matter what level you are, if you're accountable for your actions and accountable for your decisions, um, it creates an overall uh, positive environment. So that's basically it for, for this. I, you know... I just uh, quickly put together this mind map, and what I hope is you take a look at this and do me a favor at callcentergames.com 
backslash blog. I'm going to have this posted and leave a comment. And if there's anything that I missed or anything that should be added, uh, or if you have any feedback or comments regarding uh, some of this information that I've covered so far, please please uh, leave a comment for me uh, and for the other readers so we can I can include that in, in an ongoing videos. But I urge you to uh, take a look at some of this information. I also put together a little bit more detail uh, attached onto the blog uh, regarding what I was just just talking about. But I'm gonna I'm gonna release a, a series of videos over the next couple weeks, next next two or three weeks, that address specifically the solutions to high performance. I'll give you good examples of each one and we'll go through in great detail of uh, uh, what they are and why they're effective. Uh, hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video and please uh, make sure you come back and look forward to uh, seeing the other videos uh, within the series. And uh, if you get an opportunity, please visit uh, www.callcentercafe.com and uh, www.callcentergames.com. And um, I have two, in fact, let me, let me tell you this, at call center, uh, callcentergames.com, you can get two free samples of uh, productivity tools that can help uh, drive healthy competition within your teams. And it's free, so I recommend you head on over there. Again, that's callcentergames.com. Thank you. Have a great night.